WIA State Boys Basketball Tournament begins tomorrow at the Kohl Center with Division 5 and 4 semifinals. Friday afternoon, about 3.15, the Stoughton Vikings play Wisconsin Lutheran in Division 2. And if you're thinking, gee, I don't remember Stoughton being in the Boys Basketball Tournament lately, you're right. Emily Cullen reports on Stoughton's first trip to state in 74 years. This is a state program from the last time. Uh, Two days before his team plays at state, Stoughton head basketball coach Matt Hockett gives his team a history lesson. I was able to acquire some scrapbooks from back in uh, those days, and believe it or not, as I told the boys, they did have printing press, so they did have newspapers. The last time a Stoughton boys basketball team played at state was in 1939. To put that into perspective, Perspective, FDR was in the White House. Or well, can't explain. It's been 74 years. I don't know if my grandpa's that old. <laughs> Gotten here in 74 years, so I mean, it's a pretty big deal for our city. Everyone's coming up to us and cast stations and stuff, shaking our hands, wishing us good luck. And the Vikings started the season four and seven, but have won 14 of their last 15, including eight in a row. And it's not because they have the most talent in the state of Wisconsin. It's because they have the most heart and because they embrace our family concept. No Stoughton basketball team in the history of Stoughton High School has placed first or second. We could be the best Stoughton basketball team to ever take the court here. I think there should be a big sheet put on Ace Hardware as you leave town on Highway 51. Last one to leave, please turn out the lights because I think this is going to be a, a ghost town um, come Friday afternoon. Class dismissed. The best on three. One, two, three. Left. In Stoughton, Emily Cumlin, News 3 Sports. Basketball action has fans in Stoughton seeing purple. This is the Vikings' first state tournament appearance in 74 years. Margot Spann joins us live from the Colt Center with more on their history-making day. Margot? Susan and Eric, it's been a lifetime since some Stoughton fans have actually seen their basketball team playing here in Madison. Now, to say that they're excited, that's pretty much an understatement. The athletic director tells me that tickets for the afternoon game sold out in just 30 minutes. Purple pandemonium has taken over Stoughton. It's been a few years, but uh, you know, a long time coming and, and these boys are really prepared. The Vikings' road to the state basketball tournament began with a surprise send-off rally, followed by a ride through town to receive well wishes from some of their smallest fans at the district's elementary schools. We're absolutely excited for this representation of our school and our community. Uh, these boys have been great ambassadors for the Stoughton community in the entire season, and this is just icing on the cake. Athletic Director Mel Dowd estimates about 50% of their student body wasn't at school on Friday. Five buses of supporters, including three fan buses, followed the team to Madison. It's in the water, and it's in the air, it's very exciting. Stoughton native Liz Nelson described the mood around town as surreal. People are digging through their closets to find appropriate color and wear for the game, so I mean, it's just very exciting. And all ages, not just young people. So where's your purple? My purple's at home, I wanna put it on for the game. Main Street was lined with purple and white balloons, and storefronts oozed with Viking pride. Honestly, I mean, it's, I mean, if we get a win, it's gonna be like the Super Bowl. I honestly, for, you know, I mean, these boys have I worked hard all season. Seven decades is a long time to wait for an opportunity to hit the hardwood in Madison. Simply making it to the big game makes the Vikings champions. One thing that we like to say around here, we're one school, one community. We're all Vikings. Now, unfortunately, the Vikings did fall to Wisconsin Lutheran earlier today, but I can tell you by looking at their roster, about nine of their 15 players should be coming back next year, so maybe that gives them good odds to come back here next year. <laughs> what an amazing season. Absolutely. For the entire community, you probably could have sent a bowling ball down yeah. Main Street when that game was on. <laughs> Ghost exciting, Absolutely. Exciting time. Thank you, Marco. From a 16-point loss like we just had, to walk off and see uh, a darn near the whole town of Stoughton, uh, you know, standing on their feet applauding. I mean, that's something that these guys, I hope, and myself and our coaching staff uh, remembers for the rest of their life.
protecting ass.